Hello everyone and I welcome you all to another lecture of our string series and in this video we are going to look at another problem and this problem state uh, name is check if a string is a subsequence of other all right so before starting this question like solving this question we should know what is a subsequence all right hmm. cool so let's learn it by using an example okay or or rather let's uh, read this part first we will have a better idea like what a subsequence is so let's read it okay so given two strings a and b find a is a sequence of b okay so that's what we have to find and now let's read what the definition of a subsequence so a subsequence is a sequence that can be derived from another sequence by deleting some elements without changing the order of the uh, remaining elements hmm <clears throat> so that was a bit complex i guess so we'll uh, understand it with the help of an example so suppose this is our example all right let's write it here it is a x y and the second one is y a d y a d x c p okay hmm so see our output is false so i'll do one modification here so we can have the correct output all right okay okay so what does a subsequence means exactly here is c we have three letters here a x y and we have to find a x y here in let's name it string one let's name it string two so to find the letters a x y in string two all right the order should be same as a x y we can have like elements between them but the order should uh, order here should be same so see we have a here all right we have x here and we have y here okay so as you can see we have elements in between these but that doesn't matter what matters here is that uh, we are um, having the same uh, frequency and or uh, frequency ni same order of the elements like a x y and here it is a x y all right now you can see one thing see here it was a x y but here it is y a x so a is not a subsequence so v as y appears before a all right let's look at example 2 so you will understand it better it is g k s r e k all right so let's uh, write it g k s r e k and second string is geeks or geeks all right geeks for geeks all right now let's uh, see if this sub string is there here see we have g g all right and then we have k okay and then we have s as well then we have r here then we can have any of the e's here and then we have k all right so we can see that all the letters g k s r e k are present in our string 2 that is geeks for geeks and the order which is here is also maintained here all right we can see like there are many letters in between like here we have two here we have two here we have three actually and here we have one two here we have two all right so that is like you're getting what i'm trying to say right so yeah so this is like uh, 
so okay so this is what it was there and now we just uh, simply have to find um, you know whether string a is a subsequence of b so in my opinion this question is easy all right the only catch here was understanding meaning of uh, subsequence word all right as soon as you understand that you can easily do the question so what we can do here exactly is uh, i'm going to first of all write the code okay and then i will try to ex uh, explain it okay so let me write the code here what i'm going to do uh, in this code i'll explain you side by side and then a uh, overall explanation will be given in the end with the dry run okay let's have while i a dot length okay hmm. so if i'm saying that if both the letters are same i'll do uh, what i'll do is i'll increment both the iterators okay otherwise i'm going to iterate over j plus plus only because uh, a is already like what do i say um yeah, because we have to find the letters of a All right so yeah so cool now if i say if i is equal is equal to a dot length i am going to return true else i am simply going to return false let's try and compile this let's see if it works hmm okay expected output is true just now ex y and adx if you like let's try and submit this code let's see if it works oh yeah test cases are all passing so problem is solved okay. all right so let's have a dry run exactly like i guess you would have understood already what i'm doing here but uh, still i'm going to tell you what we are going what we are doing exactly so we have a x y and another is y a d x c p y a d x c p all right let's remove this one and let's have p here and y here okay so currently my i is starting from here and my j is starting from here right i is 0 and j is 0 so what i'm doing is i'm comparing these two letters all right if these two letters are same i'm going to increment both of them but if these two letters are not same so i'm going to increment only uh, j because i need to find this one right so that's what i'm doing here if both are equal i'm incrementing i'm going to increment both of them otherwise i'm going to increment only a second string so i incremented it here and it's uh, j here now all right now if our i and j elements are equal so i'm going to increment i as well as j right uh, j is going to be here cool hmm. now again i'm going to check uh, whether d is like a string uh once i and string to j are not equal so i'm going to increment only j this is x by the way yeah j now i say string one i and string two j are equal so i'm going to increment x i'm going to increment j as well as i so my j would come here and my i is going to come here again both are not equal I'm going to increment it and 
can't reach here this is reaching here i reaching here and both are equal so we increment both of them to somewhere here all right and this is going to increment somewhere here now these are like at the end of the length part so i have put this condition so we will obviously come out of the loop and our i is here that means our i is equal to a dot length so if i is equal to a dot length we return true else we return false so this was the basic idea of this question so you can see this question was very easy but the only main catch here was understanding what is the subsequence which i told you so this question was pretty easy for you then right so i guess that was it for this video and in the next video we are going to look at another problem of uh, string series so thank you for watching and see you later